Hey guys, welcome to this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. I'm Dan and we're going to be looking at the Swim England Learn to Swim stages. This week we're looking at stage 4. In stage 4, swimmers will be working on the leg kicks for all 4 strokes and aim to swim 10 meters of their choice of stroke to the Swim England expected standards. Their understanding of buoyancy will increase through a range of skills. They will further develop their push and glides from previous stages and swimmers will also be introduced to sculling. When swimmers have finished this stage, they're expected to have a clear ability to perform the four recognized leg kicks. There's 10 outcomes in stage four, so let's take a look at them one at a time. Outcome number one is to perform a sequence of changing shapes whilst floating. This first outcome focuses on buoyancy. Swimmers will need to be able to perform at least three types of floats in a sequence. For example, star float, pencil float and tuck float. Outcome number two is to push and glide from the wall towards the pool floor. For this outcome, swimmers have to do a sinking push and glide, similar to the way they practice in stage 3, but this time aiming towards the pool floor in a diagonal position. Outcome number 3 is to travel 10 meters while doing backstroke kick. The next 4 outcomes are practicing the leg kick for each stroke, and can be done with one item of equipment if they choose to. For this outcome, they have to kick for 10 meters on their back, making sure they have straight legs and relaxed ankles. Outcome number four is to travel 10 meters doing front crawl kick. This is where swimmers have to kick 10 meters again, but this time on their front. Kicking with their eyes looking underwater is compulsory and helps keep their body position high in the water. Outcome number 5 is to travel 10 meters doing butterfly kick. Swimmers will probably know this better as dolphin kick. This outcome can be done for 10 meters either on their front or on their back. Doing it on their front is the easier option, but swimmers can try to do it on their back if they want to challenge themselves. The last kick outcome in this stage is breaststroke, which swimmers will most likely find the hardest one. If their legs are moving simultaneously, their feet are turned outwards and they squeeze their feet together after each kick, they will complete this outcome. Outcome number seven is to perform a head first sculling action. Sculling is done on their back and performed at a slow and steady rate. Some swimmers may find this outcome to be a sticking point as some coordination is required. Swimmers need to make sure that they twist their wrists so their palms are the only part of their hand pushing against the water. Outcome number eight is to travel on their back and log roll in a continuous movement onto their front. Swimmers are required to log roll from their back and onto their front in a nice smooth transition. This is an outcome that involves practicing body rotation. Outcome number nine is to travel on their front and log roll in a continuous movement onto their back. Like the previous outcome, swimmers are required to do a log roll, but this time from their front onto their back. And the last outcome, number 10, is to push and glide and swim 10 meters of their choice of stroke. Swimmers can choose what stroke they would like to swim and they have to swim 10 meters of it to the Swim England expected standards. If you've liked the look of this video from us at Propulsion Swimming, the next time we look at the Swim England Learn to Swim program, we're going to be looking at the stage five outcomes. So please do subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel. I've been Dan and I'll catch you on the next one.